Street Preschool. It's good to see you. I have a book to read to you today and I have to warn you. It's a little silly. It's called Giant Pants. I wonder if you can guess what it's about. Can you look at this picture and see how you think that giant might be feeling right now? I think it's a little silly. Let's start. Giant Pants by Mark Fearing. Belvum was a giant, and like most giants, he was good at stomping, napping, and losing things. And one morning, he lost something very important. What could it be? <gasps> His pants! Oh no! Belbum only had one pair of pants, which the tailor in town had made just for him, and now they were lost. Oh no! He searched his whole house. No pants. I even see him looking inside the teapot. After peeking outside to make sure no one was watching, he searched his backyard. No pants. Giants are good at being angry. And now, Bilbo was angry. Try and show us your most angry face and say, Urgh, like Belbum the Giant. <gasps> Where are my pants? He roared. Uh-oh, I see a big mess. Unfortunately, hmm, that didn't help him find his pants, but it did make a big mess. And then he had a thought. Maybe, maybe his friends could help. Hmm. He checked that no one was around to see him. And then he headed off into the woods. March, march, march. First, he went to see Polyphemus the Cyclops. I've lost my pants, Belbum explained. Can I borrow a pair of yours? Hmm, I only wear togas, Polyphemus said, but I have an extra one. Belbum tried it on. No, he said. I need pants. Hmm, did you look in your house? Polyphemus asked. Belbum roared and he marched away. He went straight to see old Grint, who was a very wise gnome. Look at all the gnomes up there in that tree. I've lost my pants, Belbum said. I can see that, said old Grint. Well, you can try a pair, a pair of mine. They're stretchy. Belbum tried to try them on. Oh, not stretchy enough, he bellowed. Did you search your room, Old Grint asked. Yes, Belbum yelled as he stomped off. He found Lucy, the unicorn, and told her that he'd lost his pants. I don't wear pants. You could try that, she suggested. I have tried it and I don't like it. Hmm, have you checked your dresser, Lucy called, but Belbum had already stormed off. He needed pants, giant pants, and there was only one way to get them. He had to walk to the tailor in town with no pants. That's a funny picture. When he got there, the tailor made him a new pair of giant pants. Belbum even decided to get 
a few extra pairs. On his way back, he gave each of his friends a pair of giant pants, just in case he ever lost his again. And when he got home, he cleaned up the mess he'd made and he put away his new pants. And that's when he found his old pants. Oh no, look, they were in the dresser drawer the whole time. Silly Velvum. Look at that magical forest to live in. What a fun place to have so many friends. Thanks for listening to my silly story with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.